Good morning students. Our topic for today is about the histology of the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands, also known as suprarenal glands, are paired organs lying near the superior pole of each kidney, surrounded by a dense irregular connective tissue capsule and embedded in the adipose tissue around the kidneys. Each gland has two concentric regions, the outer adrenal cortex, which is yellowish in color, and the inner adrenal medulla, which is reddish-brown in color. This slide shows to you a cut section of adrenal gland. This is the capsule. This is the adrenal cortex. And this is the adrenal medulla. Let us discuss the adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla one by one. The adrenal cortex is derived from mesoderm and the cells of the adrenal cortex have characteristic acidophilic cytoplasm, centrally located nuclei, and cytoplasm that is rich in lipid droplets. Lipids are not stained by hematoxylin and eosin, so these lipid droplets are seen as unstained areas. The adrenal cortex has three concentric zones. From outermost to the innermost, the zones are zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata, and zona reticularis. Let us discuss these zones one by one. The zona glomerulosa, which is immediately inside the capsule and comprising about 15% of the cortex, consists of cells closely packed, arranged in small clumps, stains pink, and contains little lipids. Zona glomerulosa produces mineralocorticoid aldosterone, which stimulates sodium reabsorption in the distal convoluted tubules of the kidneys. The middle zone is the zona fasciculata. It's the thickest zone, which occupies 65 to 80% of the cortex. This zone is characterized by pale staining cells owing to the increased presence of numerous lipid droplets and the cells are arranged in vertical columns of one cell thickness adjacent to straight capillaries. The cells of this zone produces glucocorticoids, especially cortisol, which affects carbohydrate metabolism. And the last zone is the innermost zone which is adjacent to the adrenal medulla and comprises about 10% of the cortex. The cells are arranged in cords or in clumps interspersed with wide capillaries. The cells are heavily stained because they contain less lipid droplets and more lipofuscin pigment. This zone primarily produces sex steroids. This slide shows to you a cut section of adrenal cortex. This is the capsule, the zona glomerulosa containing closely packed, rounded or arced cords of columnar or pyramidal cells, the zona fasciculata containing pale staining cells arranged in vertical columns of one cell thickness adjacent to straight capillaries, and the zona reticularis containing heavily stained acidophilic cells arranged in cords or clumps interspersed with wide capillaries. Now let us discuss adrenal medulla which lies at the center of the adrenal gland. It is derived from the neural crest. The cells as pointed by green arrows in the picture on the right are large, pale staining polyhedral cells arranged in cords or clumps and supported by a reticular fiber network. The medullary parenchymal cells are called chromaffin cells which appear clear with hematoxylin and eosin stain. Chromaffin cells produce catecholamines, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. The cytoplasm of chromaffin cells contain granules that turn brown in color after fixation with potassium dichromate, a reaction called chromaffin reaction, as indicated in the picture on the right. 
Another cell type in the adrenal medulla is ganglion cell which appear singly or in groups and has vesicular nucleus, prominent nucleolus, small amount of peripheral chromatin. And now let's try to identify some structures. Identify the parts of the adrenal gland. If you answer zona reticularis for A, zona fasciculata for B, adrenal medulla for C, zona fasciculata for D, zona glomerulosa for E, and capsule for F, then you got everything right. And that's the end of our lecture.